Hello, welcome to my talk. My name is Rainer Hannekamp. I come from Austria and I am a member of Angular Architects. And I want to introduce you to Sheriff. So what is Sheriff? In its current form, Sheriff comes as an ESLint plugin. And it provides you two features which are very similar what we find also with an X. We have module encapsulation and dependency rules, but in a very lightweight form. Let's start with module encapsulation. So we see here we have some kind of application. We have two different directories. We have the data and the feature directory. And we see that in the data directory, there is an internal service and the holiday facade service. So what we want, that the internal service can only be used inside of the data module, but not outside of it. Unfortunately, as you can see in the holiday component here, which is part of the feature directory, that one already imports the internal service. So with Sheriff, what you can do is that you add now an index.ts to the data directory. And from that moment on, that directory becomes a module, which means everything which is exported from that index.ts is available to the outside. So it's exposed and everything else is more or less now encapsulated. And that means if we go back to our holiday component, we are getting now a deep import, um, a deep import error that we, can't, that we cannot import from internal service. So what we have to do is that we need always need to go over the index.ts. And, and if I do the import via the index.ts, then of course I can only import the holiday facade. So everything that you need to do is that you just add an index.ts to your folder and that's it. That's the first feature. The second feature is, or rather, dependency rules. So what we do is that we say when we have quite a lot of, quite, quite a bunch of modules, then we assign tags to them. And based on these tags, we come up with dependency rules. The tagging and also the, the configuration of the setup rules is done in a single file. This is the sheriff config file. It is a TypeScript file, which means you can also programmatically come up with, with your rules. Um, but in most cases, of course, it's not necessary. What we see here is that we have the tagging property and we are assigning tags according to the path of our modules. So all these paths that we see here, they all, of course, require an index.ts. So what we see, um, all the three of them are part of the domain holidays, and then there are different module types or type tags. Now, there are some convenience functionalities in order to come up with a little bit of scalability for, for, for the configuration, because if you have 100 domain modules, of course, you would have to write quite a lot of lines. And for that, uh, we can make it a little bit easier for us. So the first convenience functionality is that you can nest these tags. So you can say, OK, not the tags, but the path. So you can say everything which is in source at polydays. Uh, and then uh, come, come, come these and, and those subdirectories. So you don't have to repeat um, yourself all the time. This is a tiny feature, a nice feature. You can also have as, as, as many nested levels as you want. But the main thing is actually something else. And this is the, or these are the placeholders. So you can, as you can see it here, you can say, OK, the fourth level, the fourth subdirectory, um, it contains already the name of the type. So instead of writing it in multiple lines, you just say, OK, I'm just providing here a placeholder. I say the fourth one should have the placeholder type and I'm reusing the placeholder when I'm assigning my tags to it. And what you can do for the fourth level is something you can also do for the third level. So if you are following some kind of convention inside of your code base that you really say, yes, the third level always represents the domains and the fourth one always represents the module types. So if you have some kind of these rules in place, which you should, then um, you have much easier time to use Sheriff because then you just say, okay, the third level is also a tag, a placeholder. And in this case, it's the placeholder for the domain tag. And then you just um, apply the domain placer placeholder for the tag as well. Yeah. And then you can have as many domains as you want. You don't need to add any further line. This is about the tagging. And then it comes, of course, also to the dependency rules. So here I say everything which is part of domain holidays can access each other. And I also include shared. And I do the same for customers and also employees. But again, 
here we would have the issue that we would have to repeat ourselves many times. And we don't have support for placeholder for the, de for the dependency rules, but we, you can use wildcards. So I say here everything that starts with domain, every module that has assigned a tag that starts with domain, I just come up with a function, and inside of this function I'm getting access to the from and to the to domain, and there I can then just verify and can say, okay, if it's both more or less uh, the same tag, then of course I allow access to it. Yeah. So this is again a very nice way on how to uh, reduce our configuration. Right, and since this is so common, we also provide a function built in which is called same tag. All right, so this was it already. Summary or additional features. So as you have seen, Sheriff is very lightweight. It's, it's, it doesn't come with much boilerplate, only the absolute minimum. It follows convention over configuration. That's why the index.ts is used because this is normally the file that we use in a way to kind of uh, show that there is a kind of module in place, but nobody have uh, did, did the check yet. And we have zero dependencies, which is very important for enterprise applications. So Sheriff is written or contains really no dependencies except TypeScript and ESLint. I mean, this is a must have because otherwise it will not work, but everything else is just written in Sheriff itself. You can use it for any TypeScript project. You are not limited to Angular only. And I said it already in the beginning, it's heavily influenced by Nix. So this is the GitHub URL. Please try it out. Let us know how it works for you. And thanks for your time.